YouTube, I'm going to be showing you the best After Effects settings, the best WebM file settings that you could be used for your alerts over on Twitch, over on YouTube, over on Stream Elements, especially and Stream Labs. If you want to know how you do this without any issues, continue watching this video. Cheers, guys. Okay, I apologize about my room. I've kind of changed things around recently. There's stuff happening outside. It's quite hectic right now. Apologies. So I'm making this video in just one day. <laughs> on Saturday, because I've been busy this week. Sorry. So, we're going to be focusing on the idea of WebM files and how you can create a project within After Effects or whatever project you want for alerts, for pretty much overlays, anything that needs to be a .webm file to put over to Streamlabs, especially Stream Elements. Back when I was doing alerts about one or two years ago, I still didn't know how to do this. And to be honest, it kind of caused a lot of issues for me. I was either getting things that had issues in the background, and the glow was weird, it was really pixelated, it was really bad quality. So I'm gonna show you like an old overlay that I used to have. It's pretty much just a banner with metrics on there. So I don't use this anymore, but this is, this is it. But I used to wanna put an overlay on top of it so that when a new post, a new follow came around, it would essentially, the wheel will spin, so it would branch out and it'll open up. Pretty much anything with a transparent background. So a nothing to show and you just want your thing that you want to show to show, there you go. <laughs> so pretty much what you wanna do, you wanna come over to After Effects. This is how it looks. I'm not gonna go into so much the animation side of things. I'm just gonna pretty much just show you how it's going to look when you want to lay things on top of it. Inside Stream Elements, this will be pixel perfect on top of uh, the overlay that I just showed you. And then when that alert is triggered, it would essentially go on top. It would activate that alert and open up. Makes sense? So I'm not gonna go so much into the coding side of things, nor am I gonna go so much into the animation side of things here. There's a reason for that, because that's a completely different video. I'm pretty much just gonna show you the best settings to use for all of this to work. So you need to make sure that this box down here is on or off. It's up to you. If you click this to show transparency grid, and it is this kind of weird checkers board where nothing is being shown in the background, and then you're good to go. So once you've got this and you've got your project file kind of going, you kind of, you're like happy with how your animation looks and whatnot, what are the best settings to use? So you come up to file, export, add to render queue. I'm not gonna use um, Adobe Media Encoder, which you can use, and it, it does give you the option to do a WebM file transcoding VP9, VP8. I would say that doesn't work. Yeah, it's periods. We add to render queue and here are the most important settings. So go up to best settings, best for the size should be the project size that you want it to be. It could be whatever. Frame rate is going to match the same as your composition or the thing that you've just created. You click okay. You go down to output module. Click that, should be on lossless. Now this is the settings that you need to change. Format, you go down to quick time. You don't have that available i believe you might need to download the quick time player over on apple's website i think it is but just type in quick that quick time download and it should be there one of the top results i'll link it in the description anyway you just need to download that if you don't see it that should fix majority of the cases and come down to channels channel should be rgb plus alpha what that means is red green blue plus the alpha channel which is essentially the checkered board. It's like the background, essentially. It's just like the base background, the alpha. If it's nothing in the alpha, it will show nothing in the final output, okay? You do that, you leave everything the exact same as it is here, okay? Output to, and I'm just gonna save it to desktop just for pure simple reasons. So let's show this is test, and then it's gonna be .mov, which is cool. And then you click render. If you want things to be sped up, just click caps lock, and that should pause any animation and make rendering time quicker. So once we've got our file, you want to come over to your web browser of choice. It doesn't really matter. And you need to type in this, a convert. And that's the website you're going to need. This is where we're going to change it from a .mov file, which isn't accepted by stream elements, to a .webm file, which is. So you're going to come over to the left-hand side and go down to video. We're going to be changing up a video file. Hence why we're going to video. <laughs> go, to, uh, go to where you just saved it, which in me for personally is the desktop, which is test.mov. And we want the target format to be changed to a web m file so it's saying options do not change anything else change size bit rate frame rate in all honesty if you need to change anything now i wouldn't you're best off changing things in after effects and then coming to this later 
unless you've got a file that you don't have the project file for anymore and that's the only use for that do not change anything else convert now so that's going to spend a decent amount of time depending on how big your mod file was depending on how large of a you know everything else was it does have a size limit of 200 megabytes which to be honest if you're doing this for alerts only and you're doing small 10 second files you won't run into this issue if you're trying to convert an entire i don't know a green screen segment that's about 15 minutes long full of animation and stuff you're going to run into issues with this website what you want to do you want to come over here there's two things you can do you can have a click on the actual file itself and when you look at it it'll look like this you right click you save video as and then you put this somewhere on wherever okay or you can do the scarier version which is actually download it it'll download the whole file or give you this okay when you get to this point here you can add it as a zip here or this is the file url click that it'll send you back to the same page or like this it'll start downloading soon make sense cool and there you have it that is how you make perfect web end files zero loss quality everything is spectacular over an after effects settings as well if you've got any questions leave it down in the description or wait but well, leave it down in the comment section down below and i'll make sure i'll get back to most of you as possible all right see you later guys all the best Bye bye